turbulence wasn't the only thing shaking things up on this seemingly ordinary cross-country flight. Midway through the journey, a commotion erupted in the half-empty cabin. A businessman, impeccably dressed and radiating an air of entitlement, approached an elderly woman calmly settled in her aisle seat. His polite request quickly turned into a demand, leaving everyone within earshot stunned by what unfolded next. Before we embark on this captivating journey, we kindly invite you to show your support by engaging with our content. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a thoughtful comment stating, I've subscribed. Additionally, if you find this story as inspiring as we do, don't forget to share it with your loved ones. Your support means the world to us. The scene in the airplane cabin was a study in contrasts. A well-dressed businessman, all crisp lines and urgency, approached a silver-haired woman radiating quiet dignity in her aisle seat. His initial polite request to switch seats quickly morphed into a firm demand, leaving nearby passengers exchanging curious whispers. The air crackled with unspoken tension. A young journalist, two rows back, sensed an unfolding story. He discreetly powered on his camera, capturing the initial exchange, ready to document the drama brewing. The low hum of the airplane and the murmur of conversations provided an unsettling backdrop to the focal point. The woman, Joan, standing her ground. As Joan's refusal remained steely, the businessman's demeanor shifted. He leaned closer, voice urgent, hinting at reasons beyond comfort. Security issue, he murmured, frustration evident. The journalist, captivated by the standoff, adjusted his camera. Not only was the confrontation intriguing, but Joan's composure under pressure fueled his curiosity. Among the passengers, reactions varied. Some scoffed, assuming a privileged flyer throwing a tantrum. Others leaned towards Joan, silently rooting for the unfazed elderly woman. The businessman, desperate, finally revealed the gravity of the situation. He was with a witness under federal protection, his voice barely above a whisper for only Joan and a few eavesdroppers to hear. The seat next to Joan, occupied by a visibly nervous man clutching a briefcase, was not random. It turned out to be a leaked target for a potential assassination attempt. The businessman, part of the plane's security detail, needed Joan to move to better shield the witness. Joan listened intently, a hint of understanding settling in her eyes as she glanced at the nervous man. Empathy softened her face, yet her resolve remained unwavering. With a voice seasoned by life's battles, she spoke, her words soft but clear. Joan's voice, though soft, commanded respect. I understand your concern, she began, but moving me won't solve your problem. It might endanger me, something you haven't considered. The journalist, captivated, felt the weight of her words. There was more to her than met the eye. Perhaps she wasn't just stubborn, but a woman with a past as intricate as battlefield scars. The frustrated guard, seeing his approach failing and the scene attracting attention, paused. He needed a new tactic. Look, he conceded, this is bigger than seats. We need to rethink security discreetly. Joan, unfazed, turned to the jittery man beside her. She didn't offer empty platitudes, but the silent strength of someone who had stared down danger. She knew his fear. The guard returned, his tone softer. He apologized for his earlier pushiness, explaining they'd adjust their security measures without disturbing anyone. He acknowledged Joan's right to stay put. The tension eased, but the seating chart remained unchanged. The guard's team subtly repositioned, fortifying their invisible perimeter. The journalist, reviewing the footage, saw a story of confrontation, strategy, and compromise. The old woman's enigmatic aura and unwavering resolve hinted at an untold story, a thrilling narrative twist. He filmed on, eager for the next act. Relief washed over the passengers. The usual travel routine resumed. Naps, books, hushed conversations. But beneath the surface, a sinister plot brewed. The businessman's subtle nod meant for his team wasn't missed by another set of eyes. Scattered among the flyers were disguised assailants, part of a criminal syndicate. They knew about the witness and the security detail just confirmed their worst fears. One, a woman with sharp features hidden under a businesswoman's facade, sent a coded message, a simple emoji signifying a change in plans. 
they'd create a diversion and extract the witness at their first opportunity. Joan, her sharp mind honed by years in military intelligence, noticed their peculiar behavior, especially the woman with the sharp features. This wasn't over. The threat had simply morphed. This awareness wasn't new. It was the culmination of three decades as a high-ranking intelligence officer. Years of covert ops and counterterrorism had honed Joan's ability to read body language. A flick of the wrist, a fleeting glance, these were enemy tells, whispers of their next move. Her career spanned global hotspots, where blending in and gathering intel were second nature. Retirement hadn't dulled her edge. Consulting gigs with security agencies kept her skills sharp, protecting VIPs in hostile environments. Today, that experience would be crucial. The businessman's team dispersed, morphing into ordinary passengers. But their occasional eye contact, a silent language, betrayed their vigilance. Joan, seemingly lost in the cabin, noticed a man and woman a few rows ahead. Their casual glances back transformed into blatant stares upon eye contact. They'd recognized her. Trusting her gut, Joan made a subtle hand gesture to the businessman, then excused herself for the restroom. This was more than a bathroom break. It was a chance to observe the duo without raising suspicion. In the mirror, she saw a potential liability, her silver hair and bright scarf. Assassins wouldn't miss it. Time to be a chameleon. Joan unpinned her hair, twisting it into a tight bun. The scarf disappeared, replaced by a dark shawl that draped her figure. A pair of reading glasses completed the transformation. Maybe she was a different passenger now, someone less conspicuous. Back in her seat, Joan's posture shifted. Gone was the concerned citizen. A seasoned traveler, settled and unassuming, took her place. This calculated ambiguity was her weapon. Sharp eyes watched as the assailants sprang into action. A staged medical emergency at the back of the plane drew the security team's attention. Their diversion worked. The woman with sharp features, capitalizing on the distraction, lunged towards the witness. But Joan was a step ahead. Rising under the pretense of stretching, she positioned herself in the aisle, blocking the attacker's path. The veteran was ready. The attacker lunged, but the old woman pivoted. A sharp elbow connected with the woman's gut, stealing her breath without causing a scene. The blow sent the assailant reeling, a device clattering from her grasp. Pain contorted her face as she frantically searched the floor, ignoring a concerned flight attendant's offer of help. Her accomplice joined the scramble, urgency replacing his calm facade. The device, the woman hissed, her voice lost in the cabin noise. Frustration gave way to panic. The device, she finally shouted, drawing stares. An air marshal, drawn by the commotion, spotted the object at the woman's feet. Trained eyes recognized it, the undetectable remote-controlled explosive he'd been briefed on. It was armed, set to detonate in a mere hour, minutes after landing. His worst fears confirmed, the air marshal approached. A glimpse of his badge and a firm order froze the assailants. He scooped up the device, its countdown timer a chilling reminder. They'd planned to plant it on the witness, a silent killer detonating after disembarkation. Quickly securing the area and notifying ground security, the air marshal relayed the specifics of the device. With immediate danger neutralized, the businessman approached the veteran. Gratitude etched on his face. He acknowledged her actions, saved lives. Working with the air marshals, they tightened security, leaving no room for further disruptions. The veteran, weary but content, settled back. Her experience and alertness had proven critical. The journalist, capturing this dramatic turn, knew he had a story of courage and duty. Despite the averted crisis, a tense undercurrent lingered. Passengers, once oblivious, now eyed each other nervously, the commotion echoing in hushed whispers. The criminal syndicate, though foiled, wasn't finished. Scattered operatives within the cabin communicated silently. A handbrush, a cough plotting their next move. This was just the first act. The seasoned traveler scanned the cabin, her gaze sharp. Though outwardly calm, she recognized the subtle tremors of danger. Passengers with furtive glances, seemingly harmless exchanges that held a hidden edge. Her military training had turned her into a human lie detector, and the signs of a brewing storm were undeniable. Across the aisle, a businessman and his security detail mirrored her alertness. They too had spotted her silent vigilance and, with a subtle shift in position, 
acknowledged her as an unexpected ally. An unspoken pact formed, a strategy taking shape without a word. As the plane dipped for its descent, the veiled threat materialized. Two figures, feigning a heated argument, aimed to create chaos. Their ploy was transparent to the veteran. Prepared for such a diversion, she never took her eyes off the real danger. A lone figure weaving through the crowd, a predator disguised as prey. The moment the operative neared, the veteran sprung. Stepping into the aisle, her presence alone disrupted his calculated approach. Her unwavering gaze held a silent challenge, confirming his worst fears. Hesitation flickered across his face, and with practiced efficiency, she disarmed him, a seasoned warrior silencing a wannabe wolf. The veteran's swift actions snuffed out the final flicker of resistance. The operative was apprehended, his accomplices following suit. Relief washed over the cabin, a collective exhale after holding their breath. Passengers, crew, and undercover agents, a motley crew united in the face of danger, now worked together, a well-oiled machine securing the plane. As the wheels touched down, a wave of relief rippled through the passengers. The businessman, eyes filled with gratitude, singled out the veteran. Her courage and tactical brilliance had not only protected the witness, but potentially averted a disaster. Her humble demeanor in the face of praise resonated with all who witnessed the events. The journalist, camera still rolling, knew he had captured not just a story of heroism, but a testament to the power of experience and unwavering vigilance. Joan's story, a tale of courage under pressure, was poised to inspire. Meanwhile, the bomb squad awaited, their focus on the silent threat discovered earlier. With practiced precision, they rendered the device harmless, preventing a final explosive act. The businessman, his protective role now complete, approached the veteran once more. Your actions today, he said, his voice thick with emotion, were extraordinary. You saved countless lives. A spontaneous eruption of applause filled the cabin. Passengers, now privy to the full story, echoed his sentiment. The veteran, a touch flustered but undeniably touched, offered a simple salute a gesture that spoke volumes of her quiet strength and selfless service. The journalist's camera, a silent witness throughout the ordeal, had captured every crucial moment. The raw footage pulsated with tension, the confrontation, the unspoken strategy, the veteran's decisive action. This wasn't just a recording. It was a narrative treasure chest. He envisioned the story unfolding for the world. An unassuming veteran, her seasoned skills rising to protect a plane full of strangers, it was a tale guaranteed to resonate with viewers everywhere. As the passengers shuffled off the plane, the businessman and air marshals huddled around the veteran. Their hushed tones spoke of recognition. They were laying the groundwork for official acknowledgement, awards, perhaps even public tributes. The experience had also exposed vulnerabilities in their protocols. The businessman acknowledged this, admitting the veteran's actions had revealed areas needing improvement. As Joan, escorted by the businessman and greeted by airport security, stepped into the terminal, her story was about to take flight. In the hands of the journalist, eager to share his footage, it held the potential for a viral sensation. This wasn't just a day's events. It was a potent reminder. Veterans like Joan still carried the capacity to serve and protect, even in the most unexpected situations, their skills ever-present, ever-ready. What are your thoughts on the unexpected heroism displayed by the veteran? Have you ever witnessed such remarkable courage from someone who seemed unassuming? Share your reflections and personal experiences in the comments section below.